Hi guys, Mr. Palmer here with a midterm review problem. I'm going to go through a series of these. I'm going to start with the first one that you have dealing with velocity, distance, and speed. So let's take a look at this problem. I'm just going to read through it. A mouse travels 5 meters due north in 100 seconds, stops for 30 seconds, then walks 20 meters due south in 25 seconds. And you're asked to calculate the total displacement the distance, the average velocity, and average speed. So in one of these problems, I think we've talked about how the easiest way to do this is to set up a table. Because you have a trip with three different legs in it, we're going to do leg one, two, and three. And what we need to set up is our table with displacement, velocity, and time. So let's take a look at the first part. The mouse goes 50 meters in the problem in 100 seconds. And in this case, it's going north, so that's positive. We call north positive. So that's, oops, sorry guys, 100 meters. Oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, 50 meters in 100 seconds. For leg two, the mouse stops for 30 seconds, so we're going to say the displacement is zero, it's not going anywhere, and that is 30 seconds. And finally, the third leg of the trip, it's 20 meters due south, south for our displacement, again, negative displacement for south, because displacement is a vector quantity, so we're going to say that is negative 20 meters, and the time is going to be 25 seconds. and we're going to have a total down here at the bottom. So the first part of the question A says what is the total displacement for the mouse? Again, displacement is a vector quantity. It has a direction to it. How far are you from where you began? For this one, all we need to do is look down the displacement column. I have positive 50, 0, and negative 20, so that's going to give us a total of 30 meters, and that's positive, so I'm just going to write north, or you could write positive 30. So A is, we're going to write 30 meters north. You need to have a unit and a direction. For B, it says, what is the total velocity, <coughs> excuse me, total distance traveled by the mouse? Now again, distance is not a vector quantity, so that is we're not going to look at the positives and the negatives. So I have a positive 50, which was the due north, and a negative 20, which was the due south. We're not going to look at the positive and negative. We're just going to add those up. So you're going to wind up with 70 meters, and I don't put a direction on it. And I'm just going to write distance here. Right? That's distance. So B, 70 meters no unit going with it. For C, it asks what is the average velocity, and D, what is the average speed. So let's talk about velocity first. For velocity, the equation we're using is distance is equal to velocity times time. Let me change my color. So to rearrange this, we can say velocity is displacement over time. So displacement, we said, was 30 meters due north. So 30 meters due north. Well, let's go over. We need our total time. In the time category, we had 100 seconds, 30 seconds, and 25 seconds. That's 155 seconds. It includes the stop, and that's one of the errors people make in time. You have to include the stop, the second leg of the trip. Even though there was no distance, there was a time for that part. So we have 30 meters north, or positive 30, in a time of 155 seconds, which is going to give us 0.19 meters per second. And you have to write positive or north. You have to give it a direction. So 0 0.19 meters per second north. Finally, part D D is going to be 
the speed, right? We can call it s or we can call it v for velocity, is not the displacement over time, it's the distance over time. So we're going to look at the distance, which we said was 70 meters. And the time is going to be the same, 155 seconds. So our units for this one, still going to be meters per second, but we're going to have a different quantity. 0.45, 0 0.45 meters per second. And we don't need to put a direction on there because it is not a vector quantity. Okay, that's number one. We'll be back with number two, and you can watch that video.